Hello everyone. In this video, I want to look at finding the maximum or minimum value as well as the domain and range of a quadratic function. The one I have here, negative one half x squared minus two x plus six. I want to be able to find the again the maximum min as well as the domain and the range. Now for a quadratic function like this, again any quadratic meaning anything in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, this is going to fall under a parabola, meaning that it opens up or opens down as a graph. First of all, we can determine if it has a maximum or minimum simply by looking at the equation. Specifically, we'll look at the a value. In this case, it's a negative one-half. All I need to concern myself with is that it's negative. If it's negative, that means that we have a graph that opens down, as we say. Which means, at, its, at the vertex, it's the highest point on the graph. As you can see, everything else is going to be lower than it. We can say already that this graph, just by looking at it, has a maximum value. So to find the specific maximum value, as well as domain and range, we need to find what that vertex is. And we do that with our vertex formula, which is opposite of b over 2a for the x value, and then f of opposite of b over 2a for the y value. So we'll take, in this case, our a and b values. Our b value is going to be here, negative 2. Our a value, as we said, is a negative 1 half. So, when I do the math, again, if a is negative one-half, b is negative two, I can say that opposite of b would be a positive two over two times negative one-half, which means two over negative one. So that means my x value of my vertex is negative two. That's what my opposite of b over 2a tells me, the x value of my vertex. So I know it's be negative two. Now that's just the, just the x value. The actual maximum value is going to be the y value that I now need to find. So to find my y value, I'm going to, and let me rewrite my expression, my function, I'm going to take the x value that I just got. So now I know that I have a negative 2 for the x value. I'm going to put it back into the expression. That's what the phrase f of opposite of b over 2a means. Whatever you get for the x value, you put in for the y value. So f of negative 2 is what I need to find out. So that's negative 1 half times negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 plus 6. So that's negative 1 half times 4. Negative 2 times negative 2 gives me a plus 4 and plus 6. So this gives me negative 1 half times 4 is a negative 2 no comma plus 10, which is 8. So, f of negative 2 equals 8, which means now my vertex is the point negative 2, 8. So I know it's a maximum, a maximum value. Negative 2, 8 is the actual vertex. And specifically, I can say that the max is the y value because that is the highest value on the graph, positive 8. So now, if I want to graph this, 
or I should say, to find the domain and range, it can help me to graph it. Negative 2a dot say is right about here. If everything is below that, means the graph looks something like this. Right now, the intercepts aren't important. All we know is that it opens down, so it has this shape and has a maximum of negative 2, 8. First of all, for any parabola, as it's continuous and we have no gaps, our domain is going to be all reals or all real numbers. And if you're not familiar, that's what that little symbol that I drew means. It means all real numbers. The range we'll use by, we'll find by using the vertex. So since this graph, as you can see, is everything below this value of, of uh, 8, and since the range refers to y values, we're focusing on the 8. And again, if everything's less than 8, we can say the, the range is going to be y, such that y is less than or equal to positive 8. Or in interval notation, we would say negative infinity to positive 8 with a bracket. So this is how, using a graph, we can better il illustrate and see why our range in this case is everything less than or equal to a positive 8. And again, with quadratics, use the use the y value to help you find the range, the y value of the vertex. So we have our domain, our range, we know that our maximum is actually 8, specifically the point negative 2, 8, for the function negative 1 half x squared minus 2x plus 6.